Hey you guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing a fantastic and hopefully you are too and today I'll be doing a tie-dye video and I always thought that tie-dye videos would be hard to do and make but then when I actually did it, it was actually fun and it wasn't hard whatsoever so hopefully you recreate any of these DIYs and make sure to tag me in any social media and I'll make sure to check it out and we could twin so much like who doesn't want to be rainbow in the spring and summer season like I do, yes, yes, who doesn't love rainbows? Also, this will be a collab with uh, Michael, so make sure to check out his channel down below. It will be linked down below, and make sure to check out his video after this video, because his videos are amazing. I think this video is uh, long enough, so I cut this intro short. So hopefully you guys enjoy these uh, DIYs, and let's get on with the videos. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with a classic spiral, and first you're gonna need a tie-dye kit. I got mine at Walmart for less than $15 some rubber bands, and a t-shirt or a clothing of your choice. And first, I'm just putting some water into the dye and shaking it up. And I did it with all of the colors of the rainbow. First, you want to pinch the middle of the clothing and twisting it. And then you want to turn it clockwise or counterclockwise to form a ball of t-shirt. And then you're going to form an X and then put another rubber band in the middle of X, forming a six sections in total. And when that's done, you're going to want to start dyeing each portion of the section a different color. And now you're done. I just let it sit for five to six hours or leave it to overnight to saturate. I left it overnight and when it's done, just take the rubber bands out and then wash it with cold water and now you're done. And I also did this with a bandana and you can do this with any piece of clothing you want. The next DIY is gonna be a fan fold and you're gonna need the same materials as the first one. So starting in the middle of the t-shirt, you wanna fold it and try to form it like a mountain kind of and you wanna keep repeating the step downward of the t-shirt and try to align each fold together but if it's not exact it's okay and when you fold it all the way to the bottom you want to start from the top now and you do the same thing to the sleeves but since i had a v-neck i had to fold the v-neck in half and try to align it with the others folds and when you're done folding the t-shirt will look like a fan kind of that's why it's called fan fold but right now you want to get your two rubber bands and tie it to each end I try to do it like three-fourths of the way of each end so leave a lot of space in the middle for the dyeing portion and make sure to straighten out your clothing so there's no clumps in the fabric now you want to start off with the lightest color I chose yellow and I did it in the middle and I took up a lot of space and now you want to get red from the right of it and then overlap it with the yellow to form orange and then right from the red you want to do purple and since I want to do a lot of purple I did on the left too but left of the yellow you want to do blue and then overlap the blue with the yellow to form a green and then left of the blue you want to do purple hopefully you guys got that I need water now because that was a mouthful but now you're done with the dyeing portion and you can customize this however you want you don't have to follow my exact pattern but now you just want to leave it overnight to saturate and then wash it with cold water and now you have this really fun Fan print. I'm gonna be honest, this didn't turn out as good because I ran out of light blue tie dye and that's why I didn't overlap it as much as the yellow. But make sure to overlap it really nicely and it still turned out pretty nice. <laughs> The third DIY is my personal favorite. It's like a horizontal rainbow. First, I grab a corner of a t-shirt and then double knot it and then get two more rubber bands and double knotting the sleeve. So three rubber bands in total of the sleeve. Then I dyed my shirt, but I recommend dyeing it when you're done doing all the rubber bands. Then I did the same thing with the rubber bands and did it at the end of the t-shirt and then creating a two more double knots and then keep on building a double knot in the t-shirt. I had a 12 double knots in total, but I didn't measure them exactly. I just did random and then I dyed it with each color and I did a more of more color and I did less of different colors. It just depends on what you want. I did less of orange and did more of purple. Your choice. And then you want to leave it overnight again and wash it with cold water and then you have this really cool and fun print. I did a lot of green. I think it looks really nice and really colorful and I just love it so much.
Next up is the coolest DIY ever and it's some uh, rainbow socks. So first I just got two white Nike socks and then I dyed them horizontal with starting with red and ending with pink because pink needed some you know attention because pink never gets attention. And I just did that all the way doing two of each color and then you want to turn it, flip it over and it might bleed through a little, that's okay and make sure just to like adjust the dye and just add more dye to make it you know colorful and now you're done I left it overnight to saturate again and washed it in cold water and it turned out so fun and colorful and it really matches with white shoes just saying guys next up are some galaxy sneakers and unfortunately I got the clips corrupted so I'll briefly explain what to do all you need is some dark purple and dark blue so first I just got the dark purple and splatter over the white sneakers everywhere and then I got the blue to fill in, in the blinks and then I left it overnight to saturate and then I washed it with cold water hey you guys do you guys like the new end slide I'm loving it look at all the rainbows and colors and white animations oh my god so pretty but anyways hope you guys like that and I think that's it. Hope you guys make sure to check out my social medias down below and my vlog channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys.